Happy Monday, lovely people. Today I'm painting Mont Saint-Michel. Why that is, that's gonna be on my blog post this week. So come back on Friday, come back to my webpage there or my Facebook page because there's a direct link to the blog post where I do not only have a list of all the material I used for all the art projects this week, but also close-up photos on a background story on uh, whatever I'm painting that week. So let me talk a bit about technique here. So I'm working on mixed media paper and uh, I did spray everything with water just to make the colors really flow. And then I'm going in with watercolors and just dabbing them down. Uh, to where I want them. So I'm having yellows and uh, Prussian blue in the sky and light ochre and um, Van Dyke brown on the lower section. So you cannot see the blue yet, but I will introduce it very soon. I did, once I had the color down, I did spray the whole page once more just to have a lot of water, just to have the colors mix. I want a very soft uh, mixture, no harsh lines there in the sky. I want to have very uh, almost eerie kind of looking sky there with the clouds and with the Prussian blue here I can uh, introduce the cloud shapes. Um, they The color will mix a bit with the yellow so I will have different kinds of shades from blue to green to yellow and uh, that makes a very soft sky there. Uh, on, on the lower part I did also introduce some blue, the, the same blue just to have some color repetition and uh, I'm making a gray with um, the blue and the dark brown introducing some black for the very dark shades, uh, shadows <laughs> and then I'm uh, just giving the whole thing a blast with my hair dryer starting up high and then going closer to the page. So I will, as you can see here, I will move the water around, which uh, makes for, well, interesting uh, shapes on the page where that water flows, where the pigment uh, puddles, where it doesn't. And um, I like to do that when uh, I have a lot of water on my paper. And if I want to introduce some shapes in nature that are not man-made. So especially clouds or water flowing, I like to do that just to help me with, well, the shapes that come to be and I'm just pretty much intensifying some of the parts then and others leave rather um, plain just to well move them into the background. I did let that color dry and uh, I'm introducing ink here. So I'm working with ink for the outlines, black ink. Uh, it's a permanent ink and uh, I'm working with that for the outlines of Mont Saint-Michel. Very, um, I'd say, illustration-y kind of a style here but then again uh, with the watercolors and the way uh, they did work on this page it's a, it's a very natural kind of look as well. Just adding squibbly lines to have um, a bit of like a, a tiny bit of a sketch or an illustration going on. And then I did dry the whole page <coughs> excuse me, and um, making sure that it's really bone dry before I go in with a tiny bit of white uh, gel pen to have some highlights where the sunlight that is um, leaving this place, it's pretty much a sunset, uh, it still hits um, the architecture structure, writing down the title of the page and that's that. I hope you enjoyed watching along, maybe got an idea on how to have very um, uh, tranquil looking skies uh, be painted. 
if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you tomorrow on a new Tiny Tuesday. Have a lovely day, folks. And uh, go create something. Go paint. And most importantly, enjoy your time. Have fun, guys. Bye.